ministerial closing since I am a or legally ordained minister. Please note, you are free to continue wearing your robe to your counseling services. Here we go. Here's, they give me the right to do it. Here's where they take that right away. As long as the robe does not pose a safety concern or hinder Diacon's ability to, to provide services to you or other clients. We apologize for any confusion regarding your ability to wear your robe for counseling sessions. In one breath, I have the right to wear my robe, but in the next breath, the next very sentence, they can deem it to be disruptive and tell me I'm not allowed to come back. Well, probably after they see this, and I'm going to give them the link to it, I'm going to put it into their website so they can go see it. They're probably going to deny me services, which is another violation and a discriminatory practice for me speaking out against, which is freedom of speech. But, oh, I forgot. Christians are only allowed to have that, and especially Daikon Lutheran bigoted services. Okay, while we expect this is where they cover up for for Jess, Laurel Spencer clearly covers up and sweeps the whole situation under the carpet. While and there's a witness to her doing this, whenever she can take a a. a sticky bun out of her mouth, whatever. I mean, you'd have to see just to believe it. She doesn't look in mirrors or she'd scare herself to death. But anyway, while we all expect all DICOM staff members to act professionally, respectfully, and courteously, we also expect clients to treat DICOM staff and other clients with respect and to act in a manner that does not disrupt our operations. So, in other words, I, if, if this receptionist just feels like it's a disturbance, then I'm not allowed to say, Hell Satan, but she can go, God bless. Or I can't wear my robe if it is determined to be a disruption, which it isn't. They, they would be violating my rights, but they give me my rights in one breath and take them away. Our investigation indicates that our receptionist has continued to act in a professional and non-discriminatory manner during your sign-in process prior to your counseling sessions, even though, now hear this, this is where they take, they don't like to give me the right, and they make it clear they don't like me saying hell Satan. Even though you greet her by proclaiming, quotation marks they have it in, hell Satan. We request that upon entering Daikon bigoted property, you refrain from disrupting the staff or others in the waiting room during the sign-in process and while you are waiting for your counseling service. That's where they took my rights away from me. It's okay for her to say God bless and oppress me. It's okay for them to force their religion on me, but I don't have a right to my freedom of speech and my freedom of religion. Their other clients don't have that right either. Unless you're Christian, you have no rights inside their property, they think. But they take public funding, which is a violation of separation of church and state. Actually, there shouldn't even be a cross in their logo. Because that's a violation when they fall under the, the separation of church and state. And if I don't like their bullshit, check this one out. Based on the tone of your submission, it appears you may have been dissatisfied with the counseling that you're receiving from DICON Family Life Bigoted Services. While we hope to continue providing you counseling services, if you're dissatisfied with those services, we can refer you to another provider and we'll assist you in that transition. In other words, if I want to stand up for myself, get the fuck out. They don't want anybody there that has enough balls to stand up for themselves and defend their constitutional rights. Yet these assholes force their constitutional rights on us. And here's another lie by Laurel Spencer. She lied and covered up just throwing stuff and 
that's not a discriminatory practice when she hands Christians their papers. Huh. So, I guess that's not discrimination. That's not, I guess that's professional and respectful and courteous to throw my paper at me like I was a dog getting a bone. So she lied there because there's a witness to it. And now check this one out. If you have any questions or other concerns, please contact me at, and I'm going to put this, I'm going to put their names in there because my therapist's name is Lisa Daddio. And I'm going to put all three names in there and the telephone number to Daikon here locally. And I'm going to put the link to their web, their national website in. Area code 570 322 7873. Thank you for your anticipated cooperation and understanding. In other words, I have to cooperate and understand that they're allowed to apply any discriminatory practice against me, but because they are a Christian organization, that is perfectly acceptable, and I am not since I won't bow down to some imaginary sky daddy, some imaginary heaven, some imaginary hell. So it's okay for them to apply bigotry, and they're going to cover it up because their website specifically states they will not tolerate discrimination against clients by any staff or clients applying um, bigotry. Well, uh, but anyway, I'm sorry about the answering machine in the background. I forgot to turn that off. But anyway, I called her on Monday. This is now Wednesday, and I very clearly left the message that I wanted to address this point by point with her, like she stated in this letter. And when she handed me this letter, she came in, and, you know, she reminded me of somebody that died in 1945. I believe his name was Adolf Hitler. She come in with this big militant attitude, and it was either her way or the highway. And she is a clinical director. You would think, since computers are integrated nowadays, she would at least know when a camera is turned on. But this dumb bitch didn't even know a camera was turned on. So how is she... She shouldn't even be able to use her, boot her computer up. She's so ignorant. Or she doesn't even know when a camera's on. I mean, it's got the, the red light up front and the lenses scoped out. And she's too stupid to know that. So if she's that stupid of a simple electronic device, how can she be in charge of an entire building? So, but this is what Daikon, Daikon Bigotrid Services comes up with. Now, I'm not going to succumb to their bigotry. I'm not going to give in. I will not. I will continue to wear my robe. I will continue to say, Hail Satan. Anytime just bothers me with that because I am offended by her taking, the, taking a hoagie out of her mouth. Now, she doesn't really sit there and eat, but when she's throwing the paper at me, but you can tell when she has lunch, she has breakfast, lunch, and dinner in every meal. But anyway, I will do, I will stand on my constitutional rights. And if they deem that I'm being a disturbance just because I demand the same constitutional rights of freedom of speech and freedom of religion, and I'm going to contact all the Muslims I know that go in there and all the other pagans I go in there and I'm going to ask them to start demanding the same rights. If one person can stand up to them, the more that stand up, maybe they'll stop sweeping stuff under the carpet. Why did they find Jess being courteous and everything? Because they don't want fucking sued. Yet, they will not even make her give me an apology for her appalling actions. She should not, if she cannot tolerate all the different people that go in and out of there, she should not be working. They should terminate her for what she's done to me with a witness because their site says they will not tolerate it. Yet they not only tolerate it, they condone 
discrimination. They condone forcing their religion on people that and other people are not allowed to have their own. If there is Christian literature in there, there should be Islamic literature in there for the Islamic Islamic clients and there should be some pagan avenue because pagans need ministerial counseling just like Christians go and try to clear their conscience for all the vile, disgusting things they do every day. And Muslims deserve the same respect. But Daikon, Lutheran bigoted services refuses to give people equality. We're not even people to them because we're not Christian. The Muslims aren't people. The pagans aren't people. We're pieces of meat that they choose to ab abuse. Why do I keep going? Because almost all the counseling centers are run by murderous Christians. Yes, they are murderous. Look at the, the New Testament where you're supposed to slaughter even suckling infants, bash babies' heads on a rock, eat your own children, kill and eat your friends, and if that's not murder, I'll kiss your ass. So, if you believe in equal rights, the number's going to be in the info section. Call and ask for Laurel Spencer. She's the head bigot. My count, my therapist, Lisa Daddio, she's more worried about her job than her clients. But she's not oppressive like they are. Hell, she calls herself a smorgasbord Catholic. She takes what she wants and leaves what she don't want. She runs around with the witch's calendar. So, at least she's got some open-mindedness. Shame there is an open-minded and acceptance by the rest of their employees. Until the next time, hail Satan, hail thyself. Listen clearly, I'm not saying God bless. Blessed be. I would never say God bless. Because there's so many, I don't have time to name them all. And none is better than the other. No matter what the Christians think. Until the next time. We're born ready, motherfucker. Yo. 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 It's the feast of the blood was sent. Unleash the beast within. I walk around with the strength of a hundred men. Two best to run before I count the ten. Blood dripping from my canine like a thousand pen. I was born ready, motherfucker.